I want to start with Netflix today. Netflix had, you know, I mean, crazy good earnings, right? So let, let's talk about how the options market can often help, help you structure trades. And I, I think it'll help, hopefully help shed some light on some of the ways that you can make money from watching the options market here. So let's dive into this now. All right, so here we're looking at Netflix, you know, great earnings last night. And what you can see is there's basically a 15% gap higher to the 400 strike overnight. So overnight, we were a little bit higher on the 410. And, you know, look, I, I put this on Twitter. Sometimes I just put stuff on Twitter because I want to bookmark that this is what I was thinking or doing at the time because, you know, oftentimes a lot of stuff is done in hindsight, right? So, you know, here if we go over the Twitter thing, scroll down, a lot of nonsense I'm putting on there today. What do I do with that? There it is. Netflix up 16% earnings. The implied move was 7% yesterday. So if you look at our implied vol earnings dashboard on the homepage, you can see that with only, the market is only anticipating a 7% move. A lot of people like to sell straddles and stuff like that, sell options and earnings because they think the implied vol is a little bit too uh, high because of the event. And if there's a pop over that level, you get forced covering, right? But what I wanted to show you, and this comes directly from the equity hub, is you could see how massive this strike is, right? Now, this didn't mean that the earnings move was going to move us to 400, but given the move, when you bring this flow up, you go, oh, okay, I see what the big option strike is. Tomorrow's OPEX, which adds to this a little bit, you know, this makes so much sense. And so kind of looking at this data pre-market, it's, you know, why I put this in the tweet that, hey, I have a, a strong amount of conviction that this should be a level at which Netflix should kind of, in my theory here is kind of pin to it as opposed to using it as an immediate resistance point. And, and this is why I say point of resistance slash vol decline, because the trade here that you want to think about and that I personally put on, I sold in November, I think 450, 475 call spread, something in the neighborhood. Because I wanted to play this idea that, hey, when we get this pop, right, when we get this pre-market pop, we're going to get kind of the maximum spring in that volatility. And then if that contracts or just pauses, that draws a lot of that vol out, right? Because, okay, you got a 15%. What's the odds that we get another 15% on top? That's pretty low, especially in the face of, you know, what is a tremendous move? So what I, what I thought was interesting about this, this is our new fixed strike vol matrix. This is in beta. And we've got a lot of questions about this because I've included it in our subscriber notes. But what you see here is a sea of red. And so what this tells you is, this is comparing today versus yesterday, the implied vols for all the strikes on the x-axis, all the expirations are on the y-axis. And so you see this big sea of red. And what this is telling you is that vol basically has come down sharply, which is what you'd expect after, you know, a big earnings <clears throat> report. But you can see it's, really concentrated in this kind of just out of the money options that have really started to feel that effect. So this idea that people are selling calls in the sharp rally is something that seems like the market overall has done, as you can tell by the darker shade of red up in this area. And what's also equally kind of interesting now that, you know, we had the earnings come out, you could see that if we compare term structure kind of day over day, so we could just add in, you got today's in there, and then we'll just add in yesterday's. So you can see here, this was yesterday's term structure. So this is what the at the money is. And obviously that ball come down. Now, you got to be, you got to take this a grain of salt because we had that 15% move. So you're getting a little bit fixed strike vol slide, right? Because the call implied vol is up 10% for now the at the money, right? So before we were looking at, call it 350s were the at the money option. And then today the at the money option is more than 400. So uh, you get a little bit fixed strike slide, but overall, you know, vol really kind of compressed and came down. Uh, due to the event, which again is kind of what you'd expect. So I think if you caught the, you know, immediate open here, you did a lot better on selling options as opposed to kind of waiting until we pulled down a little bit. And then over the subsequent days, you would think vol would continue to kind of slide down. And so knowing that you could lean against that strike or having that extra ability kind of gets you prep pre-market and say, okay, as soon as the market opened, here's my plan. You know, I want to, I want to be able to take advantage of this elevated volatility and so far, the trade's working out okay again because that vol's come down. We'll see what the market does and if this behaves correctly over the next couple of days.